channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Let's get the two elephants out of the room. A, I'm not naked in the thumbnail of this video. It's a strapless dress that is holding on for very dear life on my micro boobs. And B, um, this is a stress rash. I don't know about you, but I have a very reactionary body, if that's even the right way of saying it. So if I get super, 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 super anxious, like very uncomfortable, I'm very in an uncomfortable situation, not like a panic attack, but I'm very anxious, I automatically want to vomit. I can't control it. And if I am super, 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 super stressed, very overwhelmed, like a lot of decisions are happening or, you know, I'm being pulled apart in a million different directions, I wake up the next morning and my chest looks like this ever since I was little. And I can't really do anything about it and trying to treat it only makes it worse, like it makes it angry. So I just live with it. They're just stress freckles. Let's, let's hashtag it stress freckles. And if you have them too, then let's start a club. This is also a place where we do unnecessarily long introductions, and if you've missed them, fist bump. Today's video are my favorites and my own favorites, or my hits and misses. I don't have that many misses, but the misses that I do have were highly offensive, and I want to save you guys the trouble, the heartache, and the stress rash <laughs> by mentioning them. So, I haven't done a favorites video in a very long time, and I think it's time we do one. So that's what we're doing here today in my Amazon dress. This is a dress, let me show you. It is actually a maxi dress, and I'm actually wearing jeans underneath, but um, I wanted to show you guys my dress, so I wore it in a video, isn't it cute? I mean, it would look cuter if you had something to actually hold up the dress, so I'm pretty sure I'm wearing pants just for like extra precautionary measure. <laughs> But, uh, you know, most of you don't have that problem. So if you don't, that's awesome. All right, let's just, let's stop talking about my body parts, which somehow always manages to happen around here. If you're new, you're welcome. My name is Danny. We talk about my boobs and my taco, and it's a, oh, it's a big problem. And we're going to get into it and talk about Jesus. <laughs> Although he is not proud of this child right now. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about this because I talked about it in my vlog which a lot of you guys don't watch because you don't like vlogs, I respect that. And I also post on my Instagram, which a lot of you don't follow me on Instagram because you shield yourself from social media, which I also respect that a lot. Um, this is a book that is religious, so tune me out for a couple minutes if you are not, I respect it. I'm not trying to convert anyone, I'm not trying to persuade anyone, I'm just trying to share something that has really, really given me comfort, solace, and guidance during this heinous apple of a year that we're having. God doesn't care if you cuss, by the way. Um, this is the book Unshakable. It is a daily devotional for the entire year written by Christine Kane, a huge fan of hers. This book is so creepy. <laughs> you guys, it has been so parallel to what's going on in the world it's very comforting. Creepy is the wrong word because creepy insinuates bad or weird or not a good thing, but it's been a book that perfectly lines up with what's going on in the world and how I'm feeling that day. And whenever I post it on Instagram, every response that I get in terms of this book is holy crap that is literally what I needed today, that speaks to my soul, that's what's happening to me today, this is what I needed to hear today. So I really wanted to make sure that I talked about it in other ways or other avenues of social media for those of you that don't follow me on all the other ones that I mentioned. So if you don't watch my weekend vlogs, if you don't watch me on Instagram, or if you don't follow me on Instagram, it feels like a hug in a book and it's one of those simple things that we can do right now during this uncertain time, during the social climate, during such a stressful year, during such a scary, um, confusing, 
out of control feeling year. Um, if we can do a little bit like maybe read a few sentences every morning to just get started on the right foot and to just feel a little bit understood and like everything's gonna be okay, I wanted to give you guys that option. So if you guys are believers and stuff like this matters to you or is important to you, then I wanted to um, maybe bring it up because I do have another devotional that I read for a year and I try to switch it up, and this has been my favorite one so far of the four that I've already done. So really recommend this. I got it on Amazon. Regular price, it's $25. I got mine on Amazon for 13, so highly recommend that. Um, another hit, uh, I recently got my hair done by Katie, the hair goddess, and never in my 35 years of color treating my hair, has my hair gotten so tangled. I don't know if she used a new product. I don't know if I'm just getting older and my hair is getting drier, which is a very likely possibility. I don't know if my hair doesn't like my current shampoo and conditioner that I've been using now that it's color treated. My hair was color treated from about ear down and I wasn't having those tangle issues down here. Now that it got color treated from the root down, it I get out of the shower and I swear to goodness, it's like I put a Tasmanian devil on my scalp. It is insane. I'm not washing my hair differently. I'm not using any different products. I just can't understand why my hair is so tangled. The only thing that I've done differently is do these little highlights or whatever. So I'm guessing that's the culprit. My saving grace and my solace has been the Unite 7 Seconds Detangler Leave-In Conditioner. I discovered this through Katie probably two years ago. She gave it to me as a salon sample and I fell in love with it because of how it smells. Um, but I rediscovered it maybe a year ago through a Walmart haul that I did. And I rediscovered it again a couple of weeks ago after getting my hair done and suffering from all the tangling. So if you guys have a little one or you have tangling issues or you have very thick and coarse hair and you just really struggle getting those tangles out, not only does this stuff smell amazing, but it also detangles it really, really, really easy with no pulling, no pain, no breakage. And I also have to say, if you are curly girls, and you spray this in your hair, it gives you a very soft, natural, shiny curl. So it almost hugs your curls and it gives you a very, not a moussey, crispy, ramen wet look, almost like a, when you take a little bit of a, what's the word? like a hair treatment oil or maybe like a coconut oil and just take a little bit and just kind of smooth out your hair and it gives you that put togetherness like it smooths out your hair it it smooths out your curls it does a really good job at doing that so there are times where i'm like i don't want to blow dry my hair i am done so what i'll do is i'll shower i do my shampoo and conditioner and then when i'm in the shower i detangle my hair turn off the water spray a little bit of this in my hair and towel wrap it and just let the water kind of drain out, take the towel out and I don't brush it. And I just let it air dry and it gives my curls a lot more definition. So it's a multi-use product. I have to say I'm really excited about it. The other product that I've been really loving or rather a combo of products are the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and the Osmosis Performance Wear Satin Foundation. Today's the first day that I do a full face of makeup. The reason I wanted to include these are for several reasons. One, I really love the finish that this product or this foundation gives me. And I also love it because it's great as like a spot concealer. So when you don't want a very super heavy duty sticky concealer, you just want something that kind of just evens everything out and you could use in certain spots, not necessarily your whole face, or you could just do a very thin layer, or you could mix it with your sunscreen. The Osmosis Performance Wear Foundation is such a great satin finish, glowy product for the summer. You can tell, I've probably been wearing it for, it's almost six o'clock. I put it on at 10 a.m. So it's been on my face for eight hours, and you can tell I have normal, normal skin. It tends to be a little oily in the T-zone, and you can see that natural the natural glisten that I have. <laughs> I haven't retouched it. I've gone out. I had an appointment. Um, I had gr do grocery pickup. Um, I've been out. So it's been about 105 degrees or something like that here in Dallas and it hasn't come off my face. So it's a really great 
glowy, natural looking summer foundation. And then the other concealer that I really wanted to talk about was this one. And this one's important because this one came in and completely knocked Shape Tape out of the water. For some reason, my skin is a lot more mature now and it really can't hold Shape Tape. Shape Tape is very pigmented, but it's also very drying and it looks like crepe paper under my eyes. These two, if you guys have, I would say normal to dry skin and still want to use full coverage products in the summer, these are really good options of full coverage products, but that can also be multi-purpose. So you can also wear them. Mern really wants to interrupt this video. Do you guys hear her? These are products that you could really thin out if you wanted to. You could spot conceal, you could blend them with your sunscreen, you could do something where you make them work for you. So I was like, my pandas need to know about this. The other thing that I rediscovered, and I rediscovered it because I was really trying hard to quit Benefit. Benefit is not cruelty free, it breaks my heart, but Benefit also has my favorite blush. And as much as I tried to not use it, I did rationalize my way into keeping products that were not cruelty free in order to use them up. And you guys can tell that it is almost used up. So it's totally fair. We're just trying not to waste product here, but Benefit Rockateur, gosh, it's just such a pretty blush. I'm wearing it today and it just, it's like if blush fell in love with highlighter and they had the most beautiful, glowy baby, you know? It's that perfect combination of a glowy highlighter, natural glowy highlighter with a rosy pink blush. It does it right. It's like the tame version of NARS Orgasm or a more sparkly version of 100% uh, pure, uh, very naked, my, one of my favorite blushes. So it just, it's, it's a, just a perfect hybrid of pink and glow. And I just wish I could find a very, very cruelty-free, suitable option. But being that I already had this started, I've already hit pan, I just, I just kind of wanted to relive the romance one more time, you know? I wanted to do an honorable mention on this product because it has been in my favorites before, but I was in a hurry today. I was getting ready at 10 a.m. And I got a call that made me bolt out the door. So I rush out the door and I only got a chance to do one coat of mascara. One coat. Sorry about the close up. Sorry about my nostrils. Can you guys see? Don't look at my scalp. I have thinning hair, you guys. One coat. I don't know why I'm making this so awkward and uncomfortable, but one coat of mascara. Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. One coat is this. And you guys know I have sparse lashes. I don't have long lashes. I don't like lash extensions. I hardly ever wear uh, fake lashes. I just like my lashes because it's what God gave me. I should have thought about that a couple of years ago. Um, <laughs> so one coat you guys this was one coat of that mascara in a hurry can you believe it like when you have the time to do two to three coats this stuff is magic honorable mention because i've talked about it before but i really wanted to make sure to include it okay on my lips right now is another honorable mention i've talked about this before it's been in a haul probably several hauls i repurchased it repurchased it three times and this is the lip oil from Kosas um, in the shade Dip. I don't care if you have black eyeshadow, white eyeshadow, purple eyeshadow, blue eyeshadow, no eyeshadow at all, and you just went to the gym or you got out of the pool or you went, you know, grocery shopping. This lip oil surpasses all of the other lip oils I've ever talked to you guys about. It's like the perfect combo of a lip oil slash a gloss slash a daily lip color. You don't need a lip liner. It's not sticky. It doesn't taste gross. It has a weird, a unique scent to it, but it doesn't taste weird. It's not offensive. It's not weird. It's not different. It's just there. It's like a, it's part of it. I reapply it like a beast. It lasts a very long time. I would say just because of how much I love it, it's worth the price tag and it does last a very long time. It also comes in clear and two other shades. This is what the applicator looks like. Um, 
I have one in my purse, one in my bathroom, and one in here, and I absolutely love it. It's honorable mention, you guys, honorable mention. Okay, two things. They kind of go hand in hand. About a week ago, I posted a picture of me in a white dress. Uh, Parker and I had a really important appointment to go to, and I wanted to show you guys the dress that I got. It was one of those China uh, e-tailers, e-retailers type stores where you like order something and you get it like six months later and you totally forgot you ordered it. Well, this dress was like 12 or $15. It took three months to arrive, and I was so in love with it that I wanted to show you guys on my Instagram, which I haven't been very active on since the whole COVID thing. It's just, it's just too stressful to be on that right now, you know? And so I was actually wearing these sandals. Hold, please. I was wearing these sandals, um, and the two questions that I got were, I want your sandals, and what's on your toes. I'm gonna insert the picture here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This nail polish actually kind of looks like what's on my fingers right now, but on my toes it's a little bit lighter peach. On my fingers it's a little more pinky peach or coral. So um, the nail polish on my toes is called Hot 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 Pants. It's a pastel neon from Color Club. Um, Color Club is kind of hard to find, but also super easy to find if you're willing to purchase online. But in stores, I can't say the last time I, I've seen Color Club at a store anywhere, I, I wouldn't even know where to look. I would think like a nail polish. Nail salon supply store is where you would find it mostly. But I haven't seen Color Club in a long time. If, you, if you're not opposed to shopping online, super highly recommend this color and it instantly gives you a tan. Anyway, I'm holding up shoes like I'm a salesman. These shoes have a funny story that goes hand in hand with these shoes. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I'm choking. So when I went to get my hair done a couple weeks ago, I took you guys along for the process on my Instagram. Y'all didn't care where I was, what I was doing to my hair, or what changes were happening. Everyone just wanted to know what where these shoes were from. I got these shoes on DSW. They're from a brand called Zodiac. And the reason that I wanted to talk about them is because hashtag tall people problems. I love summer, but I hate that every single pair of cute sandals are flat sandals. I hate that they're slip-ons. I hate that they're always super, super, super flat or four inch wedges. There's no in between when it comes to summer sandals, you guys. It's either slide on slides, slip on slides, or flat slides, or huge wedges. And sometimes a girl doesn't wanna wear a four inch wedge. Sometimes I do, and I don't care that I'm like almost seven feet tall, but sometimes I don't. And I wanted to find a sandal that not only was comfortable, that had a cute little feminine flair to it, but that also was neutral. So I actually found these first on DSW, and when I realized how absolutely comfortable and universal they were, I went and I snagged this pair. And the reason I snagged it is because they're amazing quality. I'm talking, these are gonna last me like five or six summers, at least, unless my foot grows or shrinks or gets really chubby. They got clearanced out for some reason. I guess they're out of season now, so they come in six or seven different colors. They are leather. If you guys are tall, I mean, they're like maybe two and a half inch heels. They're not significant, but they are big enough where they're gonna elongate your legs. And they're so simple. You don't have to undo the buckle. They zip in the back. I don't know, I just thought they were worth mentioning, especially if you guys are tall or you are like me on the same boat where you're like, I don't wanna wear flat sandals all the time. I don't know, I just don't feel cute. I love that they're comfortable. I think they are, they look very summery, but when I wanna feel kinda like girly or glam, I don't know, I, I don't feel that way ever with flats. So these were an amazing, amazing, amazing find. Another favorite, I think we're almost done. Yes, one more favorite, two misses. Another favorite is the Billy Sudsy Body Wash. This stuff, let me tell you, hold on, let me hold it. Let me hold it like, like this. This stuff was sold out for months. Like, why are you sold out for months, bro? It's a body wash, it's not that serious. Oh, it is. Okay, this is a very unique, magical, this is, this is why I have stress hives. It's a very magical, a very unique um, type of body wash. I mean, you need the tiniest little squirt and it is super sudsy. I didn't know that was the actual name of it, you guys. Sudsy Body Wash. You need the tiniest little squirt. It's kind of runny. It will last 
forever. Again, only available online. I know a lot of us, I don't care what year it is, it's 2020, a lot of us aren't big online shoppers. I'm not included in that statement, by the way. I'm just trying to be inclusive. <laughs> um, aren't, aren't big online shoppers. And this is just one of those things that unfortunately you just gotta take a risk on. It is super, 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 super sudsy. It's not drying. It smells like tangerine. I don't even know if that's the scent they're actually going for, but to me it smells like full on tangerine. And it's really nice. I wish they had it like at Target or Walmart or something so that you guys could see it for yourselves, like with the razors as well. But I really enjoyed it. And I was like, man, I guess that's why it was sold out for several months. I haven't tried their dry shampoo or their chapstick or any of that stuff. I did, however, try this and this is a miss their shave cream. Their shave cream looks a lot like a pearlescent, creamy, soapy shave cream. So it has, let me see if I can bring a little bit, some of it to the top. Can you guys see that? It has that pearlescent, creamy soapiness to it. So it is a soap-like, <clears throat> bubbly shave cream. I like to use coconut oil or actual lotions like the EOS shave cream to shave. I'm not a fan of using gels or soaps because I feel like they're a little stingy, like they sting a little. And this one was no different. It makes it very easy to shave, very slippery, but afterwards it's a little stingy. Like it feels like you shaved with soap. So for me, it was a really big miss. I tried it once, I didn't want to try it again. I was like, it's not, it's not worth it. Maybe I have sensitive skin from the neck down. I, maybe, <laughs> maybe. But I, it was not, I was not a fan. And it says it's supposed to be soothing and it has aloe vera and sage and no sulfates. I don't know, it, it definitely gives you a rich lather, but it was stingy. I, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I don't know, it was so weird. Moving on to something that was very upsetting. Okay, so Parker and I went ax throwing. And if you have not done ax throwing before, I would highly, highly recommend it. It is so much fun. So here in Dallas, and this was a few weeks ago, um, we decided to make reservations at an ax throwing lounge. It's very safe. I think they, they were like maybe five people in the building and there's like two hours in between each reservation. We didn't need to go, but it was important for us and for our relationship to invest in this date time. Anyway, he knew I always wanted to go ax throwing and it's kind of BYOB. So on our way to this ax throwing place, which is really far, we kept seeing billboards for buzz balls. Buzz balls are these kitschy, little, sticky, like, women geared cocktails. And I'm telling you this because the whole premise behind it is like girly cocktails and girls love these drinks and there's billboards all the way down the highway about how you need to try buzz balls. So knowing that it was BYOB, we wanted to go to a gas station and each of us get a drink, right? And so we weren't gonna get hammered or plastered or even buzzed. We literally just wanted to enjoy a drink. And I was like, how about we enjoy one of these buzz balls? Because they were all over the, they're cute, you guys. Super cute, right? So we drove along, we found a liquor store and sure enough, they had three buzz balls in the chiller and I wanted to get, which one was the one that I got? strawberry. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to get the one strawberry chiller. And Parker's like, well, you're so excited. And they have three flavors. Let's try all three. And when we get home, we can try them. <sighs> I know that I am very dramatic and I exaggerate a lot. But when I tell you that I would rather a sumo wrestler fart in my mouth than ever drink these again, I would not be exaggerating. <laughs> I told Parker, I am convinced that they were bad. I'm convinced that they were expired or maybe they got flashed in the sun. You know when some products are see-through like this and they go in the hot sun, in the shade, in the chiller, in the sun, in the shade, and you flash temperature changes like that and they expire? 
They have to be. There is no way that these were ever passed through a taste test or they were ever pulled. Um, you know, there was never testing done or like a, a voting or, you know, when they do, what is that called where you bring in people, consumer reports. That they, there's no way that these actually passed a consumer report. There's no way. They taste like rotten cough syrup. Horrible. Not only that, but the aftertaste haunts you for like two years. Just kidding. I tried these like a month ago, but <laughs> there's no way that Buzz Balls went through a consumer report and, and passed anything. There's no way someone was like, mm, yeah, give me another. I could not take a second taste. However, I did. I took a second and a third of each of these flavors and they were all equally as horrific. They were terrible. They say you have to shake them well and this and that and lemon Rita chiller, horrendous. Cranberry chiller, horrifying. Uh, strawberry chiller, the worst. This one was the worst of all of them. And I'm like, Parker, there is literally no way these were ever tried by anyone else. And he's like, you're being, you're being dramatic. Ooh, like, <laughs> it was horrible. I almost wanted to be that girl that calls the 1-800 number or emails the company and says, I'm pretty sure these are bad. But the reason that I'm afraid that these might not actually be expired is because all three of them were terrible. Is that a possibility? Anyway, if you guys are weak and succumb to advertisement like I did, don't believe the buzz balls billboards. It's a trap. There's no way these could be that good and they're so cute. So could you imagine you're like, you're with your girlfriends and she's like, I'm gonna bring the Cheeto puffs and you're like, well, I'll bring a cheese tray because obviously this is a very classy get together. Um, and I'm like, I'll bring the I don't know, some tacos or whatever. And then, you know, someone shows up with buzz balls. Aren't they like the total MVP? They're adorable, they're cute. The packaging is on point. The name is cute. Uh, strawberry chiller, cranberry chiller. It's a small size, so you're not worried too much about calorie consumption. So it's like a really cool, potential, amazing girls' night that you're gonna have. And then you try them, and they taste like you got kicked in the mouth by a donkey. You know, <laughs> something. I'm convinced something's wrong. There has to be something wrong. If you guys have tried Buzz Balls before, let me know. Did I get a bad batch? Did something happen? Was it Circle K's fault? Did they expire these on purpose? There's a coconut one. It's supposed to be like a pina colada cocktail inspired buzz ball. I almost got it, but it looked weird to me, like being milky in the little container, like milky in a little, it, it looked like, like if you're drinking like a milk carton. So it was like, a, little, a little weird. So I was like, no, 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 let's just let's get these three. Don't do it. I need to know though. I need to know I will not be able to rest in peace knowing that buzz balls are actually this bad. So if you've tried buzz balls before and you had a pleasant experience, let us know in the comments. Because if you tell me you did, I will find another liquor store, I will rebuy them, and I will try them again on camera. And hopefully it does not taste like a sumo wrestler farted in my mouth. And that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this hits and misses, favorites and unfavorites. Um, but more importantly, I hope that you took away very educational information like about my stress rash or perhaps why it's important to have multiples of the same type of shoe for comfort reasons or how when you get older and your skin gets dry you have to use special age-friendly concealer this is supposed to be an encouraging video and i'm not quite sure i'm liking the direction it's headed in so with that said i really hope you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed your time here. If you did, don't forget to leave me an awesome comment down below to like and subscribe, become a panda, and let's age together gracefully and complain about buzz balls. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Are you gonna say bye? You want to see by your friend? Oh, hello. Where's your sister? She hasn't been here for any one of these videos. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ian. Yo.
you're so chubby. Hello. Oh my goodness. Show everyone your nose. So you got injured. This kid has run the gamut on freaking me out, on illnesses, on how many medications a day he needs. But he is such a trooper. I'm so proud of you. Do you know that? So can we talk about how handsome he is? I'm pretty sure I already said that. Show him how handsome you are. Look at them. Show them how handsome you are. Look at that. Oh man, look at these paws. Quiet? Pretty sure he just popped me in the mouth. Did you just pop me in the mouth? 